Hello, uh, in this module I wanted to introduce AWS and go through the configuration and setup of AWS and then go through the configuration of AWS for NetBeans. Um, so AWS is Amazon Web Services and it offers a lot of really cool technology and really cool features that um, allow us as developers to take advantage of scalability and um, you know, ease of configuration, ease of uh, deployment, and it really hides a lot of the underlying um, hardware issues that, that we normally would have to deal with um, so that we can just get the app finished and, and get it deployed. Um, so with AWS, there are two basic resources that we're going to use. The first one is uh, what's called Elastic Beanstalk. And what that is, is it is a, it's a technology that is basically a Java web server container like Tomcat or Glassfish. Uh, that is, and in, in this instance, it is Tomcat, Apache Tomcat. And it basically is a platform as a service, which means that it, it just is something that we can upload our, um, our finished Java uh, 7e project to and it will run. We don't have to uh, configure any kind of virtual servers or any kind of networking um, schemes or anything really like that. It's, it's very nice that way. Also it does automatic scaling and it allows for um, kind of a, a, a scaled payment environment as well where you can pay for what you use. Um, the other feature that we're going to be using with Amazon Web Services is um, the, their access control feature, which is called IM. And basically that allows us to connect to an Elastic Beanstalk instance. Um, and in fact, we can also connect our IDE NetBeans to, the, to this instance. And, and you know, as soon as we're done with our application, we can push it right to our uh, Elastic Beanstalk. So the first thing we need to do is get signed up with Amazon, uh, with AWS. Um, it's a pretty simple and straightforward procedure to do that. They do require some credit card information, but um, we'll be staying below the, the paid tier. We'll be staying in the, in the free tier for the most part. Um, I'm going to uh, just trust that you can get uh, signed up for AWS and get that information taken care of and, and get an account. Um, once you do, the first thing you'll see when you log in is this dashboard. And again, the two uh, services that we're uh, going to be concerned with first is uh, the uh, IAM service and Elastic Beanstalk. So let's go to Elastic Beanstalk first and show kind of some of the features there. So in Elastic Beanstalk, we have environments. And what these allow us to do is set up different instances of the platform as a service. So you'll typically start with a default environment and then you can create additional environments. I've created an, an additional environment here called Java E7 Tutorial. And when I click on that and go into it, I'm presented with another dashboard that shows me my configuration. So in this case, I'm using the, the Tomcat 7 uh, Java web container. And then it shows me uh, some other uh, log-based uh, information. And then uh, if I go to configuration, it'll show um, some of the, the, the web tier configuration options. As you can see, I'm running this particular environment in single instance uh, mode, which basically means that it won't scale. In other words, if there's greater demand placed on my app, it's not going to spin up more hardware, more instances. It, it's just going to stay with one. And that's okay for a test environment. And we'll go into setting up a, a scalable environment a little later. Um, and then we have uh, logs, monitoring. The monitoring is really handy. It shows uh, network usage, uh, CPU utilization, and these are these are factors that come into play with the uh, you know for the the paid services. So these are things that we're going to want to pay attention to. We also have alarms and events. So this is our basic dashboard for our Elastic Beanstalk uh, application. It's very simple and again there's not a lot that we have to really worry ourselves with. Really the only things that that we have to set up and configure is our uh, number one we have to set up our um, environment um, we have to or our instance if you want to call it. Um, we need to d uh, upload and deploy our application 
And then we also need to set up some uh, permissions. So um, let's go ahead right now and set up another instance just so that we can uh, show how that works. So, and, and it, it's called an instance or an environment. Um, so we go here to create new environment. And then um, the environment type is going to be a web server, our platform. And, and uh, as you can see, there's uh, multiple platforms here. So um, they, this does support multiple languages. But in this case, we're going to be concerned with Tomcat, which is for Java. And it gives us kind of a, an overview here. It says, are uh, you going to be using Java 7 uh, web container on 64-bit Linux? Um, and that's, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> in this instance, let's go ahead and do uh, leave this at load balanced uh, or load balancing and auto scaling. This is where uh, you can select single instance if you just want to test a few things. You don't want to have to worry too much about you know incurring charges uh, or, or whatever for that. Um, so, but that's okay. We'll leave it at load balance just just for demo purposes. We'll do continue. And then um, I have a couple of applications uh, that I've uploaded already. But we're going to go ahead and start, and 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 so that's fine. We'll we will uh, we'll just um, well we'll set it to the sample application, which is a, an application that uh, AWS uh, just has um, pre-configured for us. So we'll, we'll set that. We'll set our default application to to run on the the environment. We'll do continue, and then we can name it here. And this name we want to we want to pick a, a descriptive name because it has to be unique. So this will be the address that will reference our environment or our our web container, if you will. So let's just call this uh, test uh, Java Seven EE environment. That's that should be. Oh, okay. I guess we better do this the right way. So we'll set this. Basically, it's just one word. We can check availability. That looks good. We can put a little description if we want to, but the most important thing is that this is unique. So we're good there, so we'll do continue. Um, this is where we can, what it's asking us for now is if we want to add like a database or if we want to make this a, a private environment so we can uh, do testing on it. And we're not going to worry about that. These are um, additional services that uh, for, for the most part are, are add-ons and we'll we'll talk about those later when we talk about databases so we'll just do continue for now um, and then uh, at this point it, it tells us or it gives us the, op the option to do uh, an instance which we can select as uh, you know whatever we want based on the size of the load that we're going to be running we'll leave it at micro for now that's that's just kind of the the unpaid tier okay and then we'll just go ahead and do continue and this gives us a, a review of the, the environment that we're going to create. So we'll do create. And so what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and actually spin up all of those servers and the hardware and the, um, and the, uh, the operating system and the Tomcat web container and actually create that environment for us to use. So this will run for a, a few minutes. Uh, and then when it's done, the, the uh, health will, will update and show us that it's ready to go.